lot of times clients hire us to overhaul their entire internet marketing presence, but a lot of times they also need results right away. In a best case scenario, we can typically launch a website, which includes us writing all new content for the website in about six weeks. But that's also the best case scenario and depends on the client being completely on the ball and providing us with everything that we need when we need it. And after about 75 clients, that's happened exactly one time. So knowing this, we'll often go in and optimize the content on their current website as our first step, which almost always results in an increase in phone calls and cases right off the bat. And what we do is so ridiculously simple that I really can't believe more people don't do it. This strategy focuses on the actual content of the website. At its core, what we do is we take a keyword, for example, criminal defense attorney, and we look at what words the websites occupying the top 20 rankings on their pages use. And that's it. It's basically just looking at what words did they use and let's, let's get those words on our client's page. The reason this works is that Google relies on synonyms and close variants to determine the topic of a page. So for example, if you want to rank for criminal defense attorney, your content needs to have words related to criminal defense attorneys. These words could include arrest, DUI, jail, bail, consultation, literally thousands more words that can all be related to criminal defense and attorneys. The biggest challenge is figuring out which words are the most important. To figure this out, we use a website called texttools.net. Here's how it works. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to texttools.net. So we'll click members login. And then you're going to go to semantic analysis and then you're going to click TF IDF. And basically what this is, this allows you to analyze which pages are ranking for this specific keyword and then allows you to figure out which keywords they all have in common. For this example, we're going to use the keyword Orange County Family Law Attorney. So this job is going to take a couple seconds here. Uh, it usually takes about two or three minutes. At the bottom you see it says your job has been successfully placed in the queue. We'll send you an email, blah, blah, blah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a random website. Oops, we did specifically family law attorney. So I'll go to page, just go to page six and just take a look and see what we can find there. So let's try this one. All right, so they've got a small amount of content on here. So when your job is finished, you'll come back over to text tools, you'll go to jobs, and you'll go to completed. And as you can see, Orange County Family Law Attorney is finished here. So what you're going to do is you're going to click analysis. Now what this is actually going to show you is, and this chart may look a little intimidating at first, but it's actually pretty simple. So what this chart is showing you is these are the top 20 websites that rank for this keyword. And if you hover over each one of these, you'll see the color changes. And basically what that's showing you is these are the keywords that each one of these websites contains and which ones they don't. So I want to show you exactly how to kind of use this. So right now it's showing probably about a thousand keywords. We don't need to go that in depth. I typically get it down to 50 um, and I can use that to see where I'm at. And then I'll typically pull out to a hundred. So what we're interested in is this compare tab right here. So you're going to click compare. Now while that's loading, go back to your page. Do a command A or a control A if you're on a uh, PC. Uh, and then you're going to copy. And to do that, it's uh, you can right click and hit copy. Or you can hit control C or command C. So now you're going to come down here. We're on the compare section. You're going to come down here to the user input and we're going to paste all this in here. Now this is basically pasting all of the content from that website on here. Now click analyze my text. So now what this is going to do is this is going to show you 
keywords that you should add to your website. So the orange, the solid orange here is actually the words that are found on this website and any gaps here, like for instance, right here's the word rights, right here's the word practice, here's experience, client. These are all words that do not appear on the website in the copy that we pasted in here that you should consider adding. So we've got areas, questions, provide, court, separation, site, spousal, issue. So obviously some of these are, you might have to be a little bit creative to include, but you know, they have, a, they actually have a lot already incorporated here. So what I would do is I would go down to 100 and you can see, it looks like somebody may have done something similar to this because the top, I don't know, maybe 20 here uh, seem to be, be hit, but then as they get down to 100, it seems like they really start missing keywords. So um, what's cool about this website is you can come down here and this paragraph right here, it says adding some of the following terms might improve the rankings of your text. This is a list right here of words that you can actually add to your website and will increase the rankings. Um, and basically all it really takes is just adding some content, maybe rewording some things. And then once you actually add that content in there, then you can analyze the text again and see how you're doing. We've seen this strategy alone have some incredible impact. Just by adding these words to the website, it increases the relevancy and increases the rankings and it makes a really big difference for our clients. So I strongly suggest you do it. Text tools is not an expensive uh, product and actually I believe that there's a free trial. Oh, I could be wrong. Let's see. Yeah, it's not that expensive. It's as of this, as of this video, it's $27 a month or $37 a month, just depending on which, uh, just depending on which version you get. So to recap, if you analyze the text of your website and compare it to the websites that are actually ranking for the keywords that you want to rank for, you're probably going to find a lot of keywords that you're actually missing. If you add these keywords to the text on your website, it's much more likely that Google is going to associate you with those keywords as well and will likely rank you higher and, and maybe even on the first page. I've seen clients move from page four or five up to page one simply because we add a lot of these keywords to the content. If you have any questions at all, please shoot me an email and have a great day.